Hello everybody, Washud here, and welcome to Giselle, an RPG Maker creepy game. It doesn't say horror game, but it's supposed to be creepy, about a girl who's trapped in a room, I suppose, with her thoughts. Sounds awful. Let's figure out what that's about. From time to time, I tend to talk to myself, let my thoughts out without anyone to hear me. It feels good. It feels, uh, good. Yeah, sometimes I wish I could just talk to someone else about this. But it's fine. Really. I am not the only one with these thoughts. Others have it worse, I'm sure. God, I should stop making it all about me. Me, me, me. Mothers have it worse, so I'll just keep talking to myself. That way. My thoughts can only harm me. Oh my gosh. This is very red game. Shift run. Uh-huh. Cool. Slightly different. Oh, what the? Instant saves. Okay. Oh, look at it. We're so cute. A poster of something. I can't see it very clearly. Notes, I guess. We'll look at him in a moment. A bunny. Well, stuffed bunny. His name is Sebi. Who am I even talking to so stupid? There are scissors on the table. Take them? Absolutely. Give me them. Obtain scissors. Okay. I'm seeing some eyes. Not sure there's an inventory. What happens if I click escape? That's also saving. What about Z? We're looking at it sidelong glance. We're just from the right side of our eyes. We're reading it. We're going to read the notes. Notes, I guess. Hmm... I wish I had someone to cry to with a red sea. This room is empty. Too empty. So empty and quiet that I can hear the sound of my thoughts. I'm so tired. I want someone to pay attention to me. So we spelt out the word carpet. This is not important. Little eyes. Is this an reference to Eve, maybe? Or do the eyes have meaning? I don't know. What are we doing to the carpet? Sevi, help me out here. Maybe we're just gonna walk along it and keep pressing the space bar. Oh. Huh? You feel something under the carpet. Check? Yes. Is that... Oh my god, it's a voice box. Why is there a voice box under your carpet? Stab it. Why did we do this? Oh, what the? Giselle! Huh. 
Are we somehow connected to the rabbit? Weird. Okay, don't stab the rabbit. Talk to it. Cut it open. Leave? Cut it open. Leave. Well, we just... Okay. So we've gotten scissors and a voice box. The only thing I can think of is we're going to use the scissors somehow. Are we putting the voice box in here? Hmm. Oh, there... Wait. Yeah. I'm going to say, then what are we doing with the voice box? Will you talk now, Sebi? Psst, hey. Huh? You, yes you. The one who just cut my throat open. I have a riddle for you. A riddle? Listen carefully and answer. I fo- oh god. I follow your every step. And yet, I cannot walk free. What am I? Please answer in uppercase letters. You're my shadow, right? <laughs> Yay? Now, the next riddle. There's more. I fly without wings. And cry without eyes. Okay, already getting cloud vibes. What am I? That's it? Dude, you're a cloud. These are way too easy. Whoa, you're on a roll here. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Cute little blushies. Now one final riddle. You ready? Yeah. I have two feet and two hands. I have a head full of thoughts. Endless thoughts. 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 They suffocate me. Die, they tell me. For the love of God, just kill yourself already. Nobody wants you around anymore. They're so sick and tired of you. Thoughts like that every day, every second. Tell me. Who am I? Huh. Stop. Um, hmm. Well, the last thing I stabbed was this rabbit, and when I stabbed it, I got a game over, so. Was I correct? Hey, answer me. Please. Talk to me. Huh? There's something inside it. Obtained a key. Thanks. What do you mean? Does the key not go to the door? Giselle? Where does the key go, if not to the door? Oh, I don't even know what I just opened, but it's open. Uh, look inside it. This is... Uh, my old killer's shirt. What's it doing here? Killers. That was the band that first introduced me to music. 
Well, good music. Haha. <laughs> Whoa, I'm really here. Dang, this place is loud. They're all up there. Killers. Well, look at them. I watched them that day in disbelief. I couldn't believe that I was really there. And that feeling, that rush of happiness and anxiety I got, it was... Why, so awesome. Gigi, I'll come pick you up when it's over, okay? Thank you, Sniff, for driving me here. Gigi is our nickname. That is so cute. Or is it Geeky, cut for Gazelle? Or Giselle? Gazelle. That's an animal. Giselle. Gigi. Okay. Here. Oh, don't thank me for that. It's what I'm here for. Hee <laughs> hee. I should get out of here, though. The concert is starting. Let's go, killers! This sure. My god, it that day. Hee <laughs> hee. I was so excited that uh, I accidentally got in three times my size. It still uh, doesn't fit me. I think I'm ready to proceed. Now oh, we got our shirt on. Serious. What the? Serious music all of a sudden. Not important. Uh huh. Get me out of here. Um. Leave. Hmm. Okay. This is my old memory box. I had it locked with a password. I have long forgotten it, though. Force it open. Use your little Giselle muscles. This mirror is broken. I can barely see myself. Uh -huh. There. Oh. You again. Hmm. My old... Killer's poster. It's limited edition. Huh. Following me. Kind of looks like he's holding a little submachine gun. Nope. Okay. I'm tired. Here we gotta talk. To the moon? No. Oh, the poster is a bit bent. Check behind it. Yeah. Something's written on the back. It's something strange, something magical, when both the blank and the blank overlap. A blinding light shines. It fascinates me, and so I made it my everywhere. Some of the words are faded. But I think this is a hint for something. Am I walking diagonally? What the? I haven't seen that in a while. Crazy. We get just completely distracted by the fact that I can do that. Usually gets taken out because you could accidentally break parts of the game. What was the password again? Oh, dude, I don't know. Huh. Nah. Huh. So there's enough information here to figure out the password? Oh, I remember now. The day I got it, there was a solar eclipse. It's so silly how I made that my password. Hmm, there's something here. 
contains a mirror piece? Whoa, what are we gonna use that for? Did it. It's a bit better now, but it still needs more pieces. Where are these mirror pieces? Oh! Hey, did you miss me? I want to apologize for what I did earlier. Here, you can have this mirror piece. Thanks. Here's a hint for the last piece. It's hidden where you rest. Um, that's the hint? Yeah. Wow, what it could it possibly be? There's something shiny under the bed. Give it to me. Um, something is pulling on it. Huh? Dude, let go of it. No, I like shiny things. And I need the mirror piece. <laughs> Tough shit. Maybe I can find something to bribe it with. Something shiny. Huh. Wow, would you look at that? What could that be? There's a tiny scrap of paper on the floor. Huh. There's a secret passage in the wall. Well, I'll say. Books about fiction. Books about mathematics. Ew, ew, ew. Books about history. Ooh, science. There's a piece of paper hidden, okay. Atomic numbers for the test tomorrow. Thank you. Hey. Looking for something shiny? I left it for you in one of the bookcases. But you can only have it once you answer me correctly. Okay. What is the atomic number of silver? Oh my god. Which one was silver? Wait. Hold on. Correct, your silver will be on the science bookshelf. There's something behind one of the books. Obtained silver piece. Wow. Would you look at that? Get me out of here. Thanks for the silver. Is silver shiny on its own? Doesn't it have to be made into a metal? This is metal silver. Hey, I got something to trade. Huh? It better be shiny. Here. Huh? <laughs> Shush, shiny! Take your stupid glass, gimme that. Obtained mirror piece. Thank you. Shiny, shiny. Have like a golem creature under our bed? Mm hmm. Wow, look at us. We look great. It's me. 
same old me. Look again. Wow. Give yourself a compliment. We're still holding the scissors. Hmm. That shirt is absolutely gigantic on us, huh? Same old me. Hmm. Oh. Obtained a hairbrush. Okay. Am I gonna do something? <laughs> Am I going to comb my my hair? I wonder how long it's been since I brushed my hair. I've always hated how bland my hair looked, but I was too shy to get it cut the way I wanted. Too afraid of how the kids at school would react. Cut hair, okay? Kinda liked your long hair, but you know what? It's your head. Do what you want. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. My hair. Wow, I really suck at this, don't I? Peft. Maven will kill me, huh? It's so messy. Ha! Huh. I've always wanted to do this. I'm glad I finally did it. I think I'm ready to proceed. Oh my gosh, we did the stereotypical cutting hair as character development. Love it though. Very cute. Huh. Well, they're all connected. How do we read the letter? Hey, Gigi, I know you've been feeling down and I don't want to force you to leave your room. I just want you to know that you're not alone. Believe me, you're not alone. Whenever you're ready, I'll be in my room and I'll be available to talk to. I'm here, Gigi. And don't you think you're bothering me? Talking to you never bothers me. You're my younger sister. So please allow me to take care of you. Don't take it all on your own. Because you know, talking it out with someone else makes you feel less alone. So please, talk to me whenever. Love, a very worried maiden. And by maiden, I mean maven. Maybe maven's a maiden. Giselle. Dude. <sighs> Gigi, dinner's ready. I'll leave it by the door, okay? Mom made your favorite meal. I won't tell you what it is, though. You gotta figure it out yourself. I should just go to sleep. I'm sorry, Maven. All I do is make you worry. It doesn't matter anymore. Nothing will work. These thoughts, they'll never stop. Gigi? Hey, at least let me know you're there. I'm coming in, okay? Gigi? Oh, wow. No, no, no. Giselle? Hey, wake up. Mom? 
call an ambulance. Please. I'm sorry. I should have been a better sister. I should have reassured you more. I'm sorry. Please. Wake up. Gigi? Hey. I, uh, cut my hair. I can see that. It looks great on you. Oh, stop lying. I'm not. But it would look even better with some color. I'm, uh, sorry. Oh, don't you apologize. Come here. Oh, hell yeah. Much better. How... It should always go. A hug. You've been suffering all alone. You have nothing to be sorry for. But I, uh, worried everyone. We're worried because we care. It's not your fault. Come on. I have some extra bleach in my room. You always wanted bleach streaks just like the girls in the band. It won't suit me. Yes, it will. Let's go. You can talk to me all you want while I do your hair. He, I would like that. Sometimes I get these thoughts. They tell me I'm worthless. They tell me that nobody cares about me. Nobody wants to listen to me. But I know that's not true. Because if Maven ever vented to me, I would care. If a French... Oh, friend had a problem, I would care. These thoughts may never end. But talking it out with someone else makes them hurt a little less. And maybe one day, I'll be able to live without these thoughts. But until then, I'll wear what makes me happy. I'll cut and dye my hair the way I like. And I won't bottle up my feelings. Oh, hell yeah. That looks so good on you. What are you talking about? Fancy killer shirt. Not sure what's... If we did something with makeup on our face, it kind of looks like... Something, something happened there. Maybe we dressed up like one of the band members or something. Bonus room? Whoa. An omake room? I was not expecting an omake room. Okay, we'll start with this one. Giselle 1. Name? 17. Likes solitude, dislikes attention. Cannot recall most events. Terrible memory. Okay. Likes the killers, dislikes attentions. Her first concert was two years ago. It is her favorite day. Cute. There's three. There's three of them. Cool hair. Boring hair. Her favorite music genre is punk rock, and she loves seafood. Awesome. Time skip. Twenty. Music reading the color red. Dislikes solitude. She's a psychology major. Bleaches her hair strands a lot. She wants to do red next. Do it. 
25. Soda, video games, dislikes concerts, but she went with her sister anyway. Maven is a hacker, allegedly. Sebi? Sebastian the Third. Giselle bought him at a garage sale years ago. Can't seem to get rid of him. Ew. What about this? Read the fact. When is your next project coming out? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm working on a couple projects, but when I do announce anything, it will be on Instagram. Can I translate your game? Totally. Fan translations are okay with me. What led Giselle to this point? Did something happen in her past? Giselle will be featured in future projects, so I'll spare you the spoilers. How long did it take you to make this game? Usually takes me a long time to finish any project. Especially long projects, I slack off a lot. But surprisingly, this game only took three days to make. Wow. What did... What the... The last small RPG Maker game I played only took a couple days. Of course, I barely slept. But I was so determined to finish it, and I did. Now let's hope I can also finish the other projects. Wow. All right, everybody, that's gonna be it for Giselle. Wow, went from zero to 60, zero to 100 miles per hour and one door opening, God. I always know that they do put the, the content warning for those types of things, but geez, whenever they pop up in these games where it's just like depicting it, it's it always shocks me so much because usually stuff like that, I don't know, it's not that it isn't befitting an RPG Maker game, that's not exactly what I mean, but wow, it's just the, the game went so fast and then just did that, you know? Overall, I liked the game. I thought, I always like these minimalist RPG Maker games to get straight to the point, straight to the idea, introduce a character and their problems, sometimes have a throwback to different puzzles, experiment with some different ideas, and I think that this game did a good job. I'll be looking out for any future products or projects or whatever you want to call them from, from this developer. Hopefully, Giselle has an interesting uh, backstory and world. I mean, her older sister seems pretty cool. So, at any rate, that'll be it for Giselle. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.